we want to make a site location uh, map. Uh, so I went to Google Maps and I said, well, what am I going to demonstrate? And so, well, let's take a look at one of my houses. This is one of my houses that has a uh, interesting design. It has a formal space in the middle and then the parent space has their own garage entry and basically their own house over here. It's connected by glass walkways. And then the, what I would call the casual uh, pod would be the family room and the kitchen and uh, the breakfast nook and those kind of things. And then another set of garage spaces over here for you know, the casual entrance, but mom and dad can come in over here. And then it's on a lake, but I want to, I want to uh, have a site location uh, map that explains where uh, this house is located or is proposed to be located relative to uh, some sort of major cross section. So I've got some cross sections here uh, that, and over here too. So I could use my snipping tool and just say new. And then if I just highlight this area here. Now I can say, save this to this project. This is, let's see. I think we have that in here. Yeah. All right. So let's give it a number three. Just give it a number like that. Okay, so now we'll switch to our Revit program and go back to our project. Remember, we have our sheet list site location, always a good idea to save our work. So now I can go over here to insert, import an image, and I know it's number three, we'll say okay, and then boom. I just placed it in here. It's too big, so I'll pull it down, make it smaller. And that's probably pretty good. I'll come up here to my quick access toolbar and click on the letter, which is means that I want to put some text in here. And I'll just write S I T E site location. And I might give it more information, the legal description or the address of the uh, property. Um, and then if we come over to the annotate tab, and I'm gonna draw a detail line, and let's pick wide lines. And I might just, maybe I'll draw a circle using the modify tab in the draw area. I can draw a circle, let's just draw a circle right there and place it all right so it's there but it's hard to see what if we change the um well we might be able to change the graphics in the view by this one element that's one way to do it let's see if that works red might show up a little bit better sure doesn't so let's I guess it's okay. It should be a little bit thicker. We would change the thickness of our wide lines. Uh, but for now, we'll just say okay. And we'll assume that that's okay. That actually shows where the site is, or we could fill it in. Um, let's see, what if we did that? Um, annotate. Uh, let's see. Let's not. Let's not get crazy. That's fine. Okay, so there, there we go. So now we have our site location. What did we say we were going to have on this sheet? The sheet list, bam, site location, bam. Okay, so now I know where it is and uh, I know my table of contents are here. I like what I see, save it. 